Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. Today we are jumping in as eyes. We figured out in the last episode that we can now unlock a secondary golden weapon for every character. So we will be very much trying to do that. I don't have a lot unlocked as eagles, uh, eagle eyes, um, whatever, you, not eagle eyes, what the hell is this guy called? Eyes. Anyways, don't have a lot of un unlocks as this guy, um, so we'll have to see how this goes. I'm sure it goes straight in here, you know. Um, yeah, we don't have a ton of locks to this guy, but we do have the, the golden assault rifle here, but no crowns pre-unlocked. Um, I, I still, I'm unsure if, uh, Regal Vision from doing the, the new area is, re is a required, um, thing to get to the end shop that we saw in the last episode. So, I'm not entirely sure if we'll get there if we don't do that, but we'll find out, I guess. Let's try and take out some of these, and we'll do the, uh, the skull here. I'm going to take the Frost Pistol, actually. Frost Pistol seems sort of a good idea. Right, let's do this. I don't know if freezing him really does much for us, to be honest. He still seems to fire just as much as normal. Okay, we got him. Charge laser, I think I'll take. This case is both of our weapons, so let's uh, be aware. Eagle Eyes is just insanely good. I'm really liking the new Eagle Eyes. Um, and then I think I'm going to go for Bloodlust here. Oh, I leveled up a lot. Um, and Strong Spirit, I think. Don't know what this is. That's That looks new. Oh, this is the Charger Blazer, of course. I should probably charge it up. Okay, let's not get blown up by the ammo here. Oh, the shark boy's on me. Fucking hell. Don't particularly like the weapons I've got for this. For a boss fight and stuff. The penetrator might be uh, a little better than the charge laser here. Dude, what keeps hitting me? Oh, don't be teleporting me. It's some shit right there. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, let's try that again. Uh, I'd, I'll be honest, don't know how that guy is the one that killed me. I did not see a single one of that particular enemy anywhere near me, but you do you, game. You do you. I should be using my uh, my ability a bit more often as well, because it does deflect projectiles. I always forget that with this dude. Also, pulling chests and stuff towards is nice. Pulling these guys towards isn't the nicest, I've got to say. It's a good weapon to start with, the Golden Assault Rifle. It's basic, it's simple, but goddamn does the job. What's this here? Bullet Popper. I will take Bullet Popper. I think this will def slightly deflect the explosive shot, so I'm trying that now. Okay, we're good. SMG, obviously not great. Let's try that again. Okay, um... Tail's End would make this better, so I think I'm gonna go for Tail's End. Um... Doubles Telekinesis Strength. I don't know, does that just mean pull, or does that also mean the push of enemy stuff? Also, we've got our currency here, look, with our portal thing here. Uh, I think we're just going to go for Rhino Skin here, and then we'll go with Adrenaline Fuel as well. Just stay back for now. Try and peek out and get the rads when I can. It's the goddamn big fish boy that, that I'm constantly scared of. He's an absolute nightmare of a boss. Especially when he starts teleporting me. Yep. Don't like that. Okay, maybe he summoned a, summoned one of those guys on me last time. I didn't realize he summoned them. Or I don't know if he's summoning them or for reviving them. I'm not actually sure. Okay, we got him. Okay, so now... Where do we go? Because I think I've killed everything, right? Ah, this thing's like sort of available now. So what is this? Choose any mutation next level up. 
Holy damn. Okay. So we want to come here more often. Oh, god damn. That's awesome. You can even take heavy heart. My god. Dropped weapons fire at enemies. Heavy heart just seems fun, right? It's not towards the build, but... Yeah. Heavy Heart's something I've never had because you've got to go under specific conditions to get it. But I like the idea of dropped weapons firing and a lot more weapons dropping so we can potentially get a better build going. Using this for for the hot minute because I've still got Tails End, so that's still doing a good amount of work for us making this weapon basically twice as good as normal. That's so cool. Blood Glove seems potentially very, very good. Okay, it just keeps firing, I guess. We'll take a crown here just to unlock them. Uh, I don't know what crown to take, to be honest. Um, resources fade past, but it'll worth more. Why not? That, that worked pretty well on him. Um... Double telekinesis power, do we really want that? Let's go with power craving, because we're going to be picking up a lot of weapons here. Oh, I can just, like, swap weapons constantly to make them keep firing. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, I have take I have sustained some damage here, which I think means I probably shouldn't stick with this weapon. Blade gun, charge lance. Oh, that's really cool. Right, one second. I have returned, but yes, this is this is insane. I really really like this. Oh, my chair sunk. God damn it. Oh my god. Why didn't I just pause while I did this? Sorry. <laughs> oh, the foibles of YouTubing. I could say it being a YouTuber, but I, I really hear that. <laughs> uh, so what do I actually want here? I think I do want this. I am actually quite down with this because I think, I, yeah, I can use it normally, but then I can charge it up for this little just uber, uber mega slice. I, d I don't know if that's just a range increase or if it's also a damage increase, but imagine this with long arms. Oh, dude. Okay. So I got really, really screwed then. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but I am... Um, Oh, god damn. I got really screwed then. Oh, I forgot I've got the fading pickups. Pick Needs to be quicker. I tried to charge up my shot and it didn't charge. So I just wasn't ready for that enemy then at all. Need to be careful with my pickups fading quicker. I keep forgetting about that. It does seem to do a good amount of damage. But like now, I've, I've, got, I've got it charged and I couldn't tell. That's just me being stupid though, maybe. Heavy shovel. Look at that range, baby. HP and ammo drop on this thing, maybe? I wonder how many more ch uh, charge melee weapons there are. Because that seems to be a completely new element. I like it, though. I like it. Um, mood swing? Probably not. Rabbit paw, flexible elbow. Flexible elbow could be good. Good old inverted machine. Yeah, I thought that would kill him pretty quick. Chop Splinter Gun. I'm going to give that a go. Go and morph on this thing as well. Oh, what the hell? I like it. I like it. The chop is... Oh, whoa! New sheep enemies! Look at the range on that. What the hell is this thing? This gun's wild. Also, this this weapon seems really good with flexible elbows. Look at that. 
I love that. That's going to get real wild if we make it to loop, you know. Dude, that does 20 damage a hit now. Used to be a lot lower than that, right? Um, ooh, Bolt Marrow with this thing could be something quite intriguing. I'm going to give that a go. Oh, well, actually, is it a Bolt weapon? Technically, it doesn't use Bolt Ammo. Oh, no, it, it, it does count as a Bolt weapon, though. Good. I'm getting some herming on that. Have we got Eagle Eyes in this run? I forget. I was gone for quite a while when I paused. <laughs> I forget where I was. My girlfriend came home and I had to help with some stuff, and then I ended up doing some cleaning up, so... Because we've got guest server later. I, I like... I don't know if this is new, but I like it. <laughs> I love this weapon's fine. Although, I guarantee I get some sort of disc gun and absolutely destroy myself. Right, what do we actually have? Uh, heavy Heart, Rhino Skin, Bolt Marrow, Flexible Elbows. We don't have it at the moment, so we need Eagle Eyes on this run. Morph, Shotgun, Weapon Drop, Swarm. I think we go for Swarm here, don't we? I think we go for Swarm. Beautiful. Hey, it's New Cheshire Cat. I love New Cheshire Cat sprites. That's so much better. Took a while, but we deaded him. Frost, bullet, shotgun. Probably going to go for... The, eh, uses the same ammo, though. Nah, I'm going to stick with the, the charge lance. It's, it's a bit gimmicky, but I like it. What is the drum? Honestly, that's a melee weapon, so I'll take it. Bloodline, though. Now let's take with Bloodline. Blood, blood, bloodline's just too good. I'm going to be swapping, hot swapping weapons a lot here, I think. I wonder what my regal vision's going to be for this guy. I'm very unsure. Okay, this thing has a really hard time hitting this guy because the way he moves. We got him in the end, though. Good, good, good. It seems really ammo efficient, this thing, though. Lightning Nunchuck? There's Nunchucks now. Excuse me. I on teleport. I'm going to go with the Bloodline for protection here. What we're going to lose? What we're going to lose? Adrenaline Fuel? Eh, kind of sad. Rhino Skin's bad. Flexible Elbows. I was actually quite liking Flexible Elbows there. Okay. Um... I think I'm going to go for scarier face here with this weapon. I think it's going to be really good with it. Because of the swarm and stuff. Ah, bollocks. I'm absolutely whiffing this. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. I, I find that circle attack, I don't know what, what it is about it, but I find it really, really difficult to predict where it's going to hit. Even though it's very obvious with the actual circle, I don't know, something about it just doesn't... I don't know, It's something, something's wrong with it and I can't tell what. Anyways, let's keep this going. Yeah, so, something just doesn't feel right about it and I, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is. Does anyone else that's played the update feel like that? Or, vis or visually from watching, do any of you feel like that? It might just be me having a skill issue. That's always a very big potential call, uh, potential chance. We definitely want to be going through here again. I'm going to take Scarier Face again here. But yeah, as we, as we sort of explained last time, blood weapons are the way to go in that area. So I should have been using my bloodline a bit more often. Oh, you jammy little fool. Did you see that little shot you got on me there? Jammy little fool. I like how much rage you get in this area. Suck this guy up. You could stop diving, my guy. 
Orbiter. The Orbiter is pretty good, if I remember correctly. Charge and burst weapons. Hypersomnia in this area seems like it could be really good. Eagle Eyes is just a no-brainer nowadays. Uh, ooh, Eagle Eyes with Micro SMG is going to be really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> By really, really good, I mean it's absolutely insane. I see you there, you shit. This thing seems to do really good damage, so I'm going to use this. Thank you for teleporting me. Okay, now we get to choose what we want to take. So, ideally, what do we actually want to take here? Because Heavy Heart's interesting because it's unique. It's hard to get otherwise. What do we have right now that's going to be really good? We, we got Insomnia. We could take Scarier Face because I think that'd be really good with the SMG. Yeah, I guess I'll take Scarier Face. Being able to choose is pretty awesome. But yeah, with, with this SMG with Eagle Eyes, Scarier Face seems to be... A really good choice, I think. He's got low pair bullet damage, so that added damage pair bullet's going to be good. And on top of that, with Eagle Eyes, get the Herming and the better accuracy on top. It's just kind of a no-brainer right now. Uh, s -s Stop stealing my ammo, you freak. Yeah, this seems good. This seems really good. This is why I want this thing gold, baby. That's why I want this thing gold. Um, Tough Shell, I think. Tough Shell's been very good to us. Oh, man, this thing feels juicy right now. Get some more damage ups, and this thing could be an absolute king. I am liking it muchly. It's nice to go through this as well. I've not gone through that in a while. I've got to do it on loop though, I believe. Having Hypersomnia here is really, really nice when we can kill enemies this quickly. Like, we just killed the entire stage before anything woke up. And this thing's really good for bossing. Because you can sit on top and it hits with multiple lasers at once. Okay, let me, let me get the hell out of here before he destroys me. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Um, duh, 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 duh. Last Wish could be useful. Trigger Fingers could be fun. I think Rhino Skin's the best choice, The Blood Shotgun, sadly. I thought it was Shotgun. If it was Shotgun, I would have taken it, but Shotgun, not so good. I need to not mess around so much. I'm wasting my, uh, my precious time here. I really like this thing for an early gun. This is very, very good. It's hitting hard, and it pierces too. Can't deny that. Can't deny the power of the piercing. Hits multiple enemies too. It's, it's all sorts of what I need right now. Blood rocket gun, the. It's a blood weapon. It's a rocket gun. One more has to be said. I like it. Not quite as crazy as the other blood weapon we saw in the previous episode. It's still very good. Yeah, on the weaker enemies this thing slaps, but on the bigger enemies it's still having a bit of a hard time. I see you holding that car there, good sir. Yeah, we need, we need the other damage upgrade uh, mutations to really make this pop off. Rope knife. Nah, I'm still going to stick with a micro for now. Oh, hello. Didn't even see you there. Level 7, baby. Absorbing paws. Pretty good. Second stomach. 
very, very nice, I think. Inner Peace seems really good for later on as well. I think I think the the, the barrier build is uh, I, I spoke a little bit about it in a previous run. I think the barrier build, with the three barrier based items, could be very, very strong. Defensively at least. I don't actually know how I didn't die there, but I'll accept what happened and be happy with it. Obsidian throwing knife is a little late for you to do much for me. Explosive Assault Rifle. I, I will be taking that, thank you. We good? Nah, apparently not. Okay, good, good. Still got that excess, excess damage doing its thing. Would like some protection from explosive weapons. Okay, we got him. Um, no, 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 no. Don't pull me in. I would like to go this way, thank you. Okay, good. Micro SMG still there. Nah, I'm still going to continue on as normal here. Okay, thank God I have a Hypersomnia here, because this is... Had to assess this area pretty heavily. Also, that guy sleeping on spawning in. Very, very nice. <laughs> Don't quite have the right weapons yet, but I do definitely feel like with this update, the higher tier weapons are spawning a bit earlier, which I really like. I think it's kind of a necessity. This thing's pretty good with eagle eyes, having that bit of herming. Morph hammer. Melee just proved not to be very good for us, so morph hammer's not the best. Triple machine gun, however. Triple machine gun. Very, very good with um, with eagle eyes. So I'm tempted by it. Yeah, the fact that I can fire into a crowd with eagle eyes and it'll generally hit is very, very nice. I don't have to aim exactly on every enemy now. The aim assist is helping. The suck cannon. We've 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 seen the suck cannon before, haven't we? Yeah. I'll take it. I'm not I'm not super convinced. Also, I'm gonna try out the inverted area this time and see if the um the new the new area has an inverted version. The the Regal Visions area. I wanna see. If we make it that far, we'll see if we survive this next stage. Um probably strong spirits are a good idea here. Extra feet, though. Pretty spicy. I'm going to say extra on spirit, so just in case. Ooh, this area. The inverted version of this area is lovely. We're out of ammo. Okay, this thing actually does mad damage. A little bit dangerous. Okay, it did mad damage until I ran out of ammo. Okay, we've got an auto flare gun here, which... I'm not sure it's the best choice. I'm taking some hefty damage. I shouldn't be here. Okay. So, this stage, inverted, doesn't seem to spawn the Regal Visions portal. I'm not entirely sure if that's just because it hasn't been finished yet. Or if that's because there isn't going to be an inverted one. It'd be nice if the portal still showed up even if the area isn't inverted. But I kind of also get it why it doesn't. So it's fair. Um... Adrenaline fuel. Oh wait, no. Okay, maybe, maybe it will still show up. Maybe it will still show up. So I'm still in the crystal caves here. I didn't think I would be. Uh, by the way, I put I put Herming on this thing again, so we'll see how that goes. And I I honestly don't remember what this guy does, so I'm I'm in for a a hard time if uh, if he's difficult, which luckily he wasn't. Although I say he he probably was, I just had enough health to deal with him quickly, enough damage sorry to deal with him quickly. 
We're gonna need more ability to get assault ammo here though. Our assault ammo is not doing the best. This thing with Tails End would be pretty awesome. Thundercracken, yes please. Okay, so no, yet yet again we didn't get the uh, the new the new area. Good to know though. Good to know what we want to be avoiding. But the good thing about this is if we do make it to the end, we can see if the shop is still available, having not gone to the Regal Visions area. I'd like to know that. I would very much like to know that. Thundercracken being amazing, thank you. Okay. We got our ultra, what we got going on here? Okay, so we got telekinesis, pulses, um... Telekinesis pulls enemies and projectiles towards your crosshair, infinite telekinesis, range, and stronger projectile pull. Very nice. Your active change into Void Pull, uh, burst pull enem all enemies and enemy projectiles towards you, create a void circle around yourself that consumes projectiles and deals damage to enemies. I remember being that, that being very good last time, so I think I'm going to take that. Ooh, we got the sea skin unlocked, I like it. Okay. Let's get to it with the boss here. Remember, we've got to take out our uh, generators this time, that's been re-added to the game. So we'll uh, focus on that first. And we get to see here if the shop will still appear. Okay. Oh my god. I forgot how that worked for a hot second there. That's uh, not the best thing to use on this boss, i got to say. Okay, we got it. We got it. He is bested. So let's see. Do we get the shop? Do we get the shop? We do. Okay, so you do not need Regal Visions to get this. Good to know. First time here. Eyes, all sorts of stuff. Maybe something useful for eyes. Take a look and buy. So we, of course, want to buy this straight away. Yes, please. Um... We, of course, want to buy this. Honestly, it's probably a good idea to just... Grab a few of those. What was the other thing we even got there? Slugger. Just get a bunch of golden weapons. Oh, I forgot to do the goddamn challenges again, you fool. You fool. Are they all the same? Yeah, they are. Okay, I'll come back to the challenges. I'll come back to the challenges. Right. Let's get gone. Still, I like the fact this area is not exclusive to having done the thingy. I like it. I don't have a, uh, what's it called, impact wrists here, so we are going to have to actually kill things, unfortunately for me. That's a lot of popo. Yeah, more, way more ways to unlock golden weapons is very nice. Being able to equip two golden weapons is honestly the most delightful thing ever. I love this Thunder Kraken. It's so good. Lightning and Kraken go together so well. This thing with Mood Swing for the stunning ability would be uh, kind of saucy. It's got good AoE. We don't really have the best AoE right now, so I'm a little bit worried about not having enough. That was a good kill. Orbiting yo-yo gun. Small missile launcher. Let's take a look what we got for now. 
Ooh, okay, so some of these new enemies appear in these areas too. I was wondering if that would happen. There's a blood hammer there. That's probably a good grab. Oh, the curse weapons, I can't grab them. I'm stupid. These bad boys be cursed. You need to stop, my good sir. My goodness. Either way, yet another good run there. We haven't seen our Regal Visions yet, but still, I enjoyed that quite a bit, and we've got our second weapon unlocked. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.